Sergeant Jacob Deal of the WCU Police Department explains the Rape Aggression Defense Program. Well, we want to get the information out to as many of the students as we possibly can. I think that is my ultimate goal, uh, is to reach out to as many individuals that want to learn this information and get it to them. That's why we have what we call a RAD Express version of the RAD program. It's a one-hour condensed version of the techniques that we that we offer in the full program, but it's more accessible to students. We can get into the residence halls, we can get into classrooms and teach those things in 45 minutes to an hour. Whereas individuals that may not be able to go through the full program that don't have that type of um, time to spare um, wouldn't get that information. So the way that we operate, and I'll, I'll touch on both the RAD Express and the, and the full program, uh, the, the RAD Express program is, is obviously much shorter. We're looking at a, a one hour, a 45 minute to one hour time frame. And so what we, the way we operate uh, or conduct that program is for the first 30-ish minutes, um, we have some general discussion about risk reduction strategies, things that you're already doing to keep yourself safe. Um, we talk a little bit about uh, weapons that you might be carrying, uh, weapons that you always have with you, um, there's little tips and tricks to, to make yourself safer uh, and, and then we have uh, a little more discussion in that portion and then once that 30 minutes is we've covered most of that conversation uh, which is which is mostly student-led I, I asked them what you do to keep yourself safe and we let the conversation go from there uh, mm -hmm. from the student perspective um, but then we get into a, a physical portion where we teach a couple different techniques from the full program. Uh, very brief, but uh, we do take the bags with us, the, the punching bags, um, either the big pads and the, usually the little pads, and uh, we'll teach like a striking motion or some type of knee strike or elbow strike or kick or, or something uh, to that extent based on how much time we have. In the full program, there is much more discussion um, about risk reduction strategies and, and uh, things to do uh, when you're on campus, off campus, etc. Uh, and how to keep yourself safe. And then there is um, a much larger component of um, striking motions, uh, breaking holes, defensive stances, that kind of so stuff. So the way that the RAD program works, mm -hmm. um, they have two separate courses. They have a RAD for men and they have a RAD for women. The RAD for women, it, it stands for Rape Aggression Defense. Um, the RAD for men stands for Resisting Aggression with Defense. So the components are very similar, just a little different, um, a little different techniques, um, a little different course content, but a lot of it is uh, across the board is very similar.